today on another exciting edition of What's Morgan Drinking? Ba -da -da! Red Bull, the winter edition. Arctic Berry. Now this one won by a vote of four to three votes for the next nearest competitor, which was C4. So we'll find out who wins next week, and I'll put up my vote a little bit earlier next time. But Red Bull's the winner this week. Now this is a classic. Well, this flavor variant isn't, but Red Bull itself is essentially the OG, the original, the first, or at least the first one in the American market that we can recall of energy drinks. Anytime after an encounter Red Bull, I'm always very dubious because their first entry out of the gate was so genre-defining for the way that any energy drink should taste going forward. To get that energy drink kick has always been, to my palate, a variant or flavor modification. More fruit, more sugar, uh, less fruit, less sugar, more caffeine, more uh, B vitamins, whatever it is, of Red Bull. And I can still recall the first time I had a Red Bull over in Europe before it was legal here, when I was lucky enough to take a trip there in the year 2000, uh, that it was so bad, so violent, and I couldn't understand it in my mouth. I was a huge soda drinker at the time, so to me it just felt like a really vitamin-y, really bad Mountain Dew, is how it, I recall it feeling 21 years ago. And now they've got all these modified flavors and modifications that can manipulate it, but to my recollection, I have yet to encounter Red Bull that I have enjoyed in any real significant way. So let's just say I'm dubious before consuming today's pale blue beverage. Beyond that, it just has the standard warning of the winter edition with a cool raspberry taste with the wings of Red Bull. And it's appreciated worldwide by top athletes, busy professionals, college students, and travelers on long journeys. And please, don't anyone pregnant or nursing or children under the age of 18 drink this. So as always, <laughs> with tremendous amounts of trepidation, we bottoms up. For science! Sincerely, 21 years ago, I still recall the first sip of Red Bull I ever had, and it was, oh, not a fan. Yet somehow we became addicted to Rockstar for half a year in 2007. Go figure. The original Rockstar. Interesting. Oh, there, it, there is blue color. Faint blue. Same as the can. Mmm. That fake raspberry smell. Hmm. Okay. All right. But Morgan, what does it taste like? It's interesting, you know. The first thing that came to mind was Raspberry Chewy Spree, the candy. Which is good, because I like that. And it's delicious. And I want more of that. But it immediately morphs into some strange hybrid that somehow, with too much raspberry, artificial raspberry, turns down the inherent red bulliness <laughs> of Red Bull and makes it more like a sad, almost candy sweetened soda that then has this aftertaste that almost tastes of menthol in my mouth. I have a seriously almost minty flavor going on in my, fa in my face. I guess my mouth is attached to my face. In my mouth presently. It's such an interesting shift in notes. It's raspberry candy, too much acidic foaminess, weird Red Bull vitamin flavor, and then sudden mentholated something. Like I'm trying to eat... It's like I'm trying to apply chapstick that I get on my lips while eating blue raspberry <laughs> candy and sipping a diet Red Bull. That's not pleasant. I don't eat chapstick. Thanks for watching. <laughs>